read one of my books together. So I picked one of my favorites, What's New at the Zoo. One of the reasons I love this book is because it has great animals in it. And the pictures of the animals are awesome. They were drawn by the illustrator right over there, Miss Joan Waits. She's a very talented artist. I've never met her. The publisher chose her for the book because she draws such great animals. So why don't we read it and we'll find out. Now one of the cool things about this book is that I got the idea for this book from another book I wrote about peacocks. Now the publisher asked me to write this book and when an author writes a book they do a lot more than write. They spend a lot of time researching. So I read up about peacocks and as I wrote about them, I learned that a baby peacock, these are the babies right here, they're called peachicks. I had never heard that before. I thought that was fascinating and I got to thinking lots of animals have a unique name for their baby. For instance, a baby cat is called a kitten, right? So that's one of the fun things I got to include in this book are the baby animal names. So you can listen to each verse, see if you can hear the baby animal name, and also you can practice your addition as we go. So here we go on our animal adventure, What's New at the Zoo? Now, one interesting thing about this book, this uh, red balloon here reminded me of it, is that the illustrator drew her own little story in addition to the story that I tell with the words. She has a, her own story with pictures, and it starts right here at this gift shop. There's a red balloon escaping from the gift shop, and you'll see in, in the pictures, you'll see that she hid the red balloon. So it's a fun way that the illustrator could also do a story along with what I wrote. So here we go. Let's go on an animal adventure. How many live in the zoo? We'll add up each creature, moms, dads, and their new babies too. Two hungry pandas eat a bamboo lunch. One cub joins the meal. How many crunch and munch? Three, right. Four dusty elephants spraying water jets. Two calves join the fun. How many getting wet? Did you hear the baby animal name? It was calves, right? Oh, there's our peacocks. Two tiny pea chicks gather round pea hen. Add one papa peacock. How many in the pen? And if you notice, there's our balloon hiding right up there. Kind of fun, isn't it? Four mama monkeys swinging in a tree. Each holds an infant. How many do you see? Eight. That's right. Three mammoth boas plus two neonates loop around the branches. How many figure eights? And when I learned the baby name for this, the neonate, I knew I had to include it because that's a pretty cool name, don't you think? Five fuzzy brown bears snuggle close and smile. Two cubs wiggle in. How many in the pile? Five boomers bouncing up and down nonstop. Four jumping joeys join. How many like to hop? And I bet you know these this animal by the name kangaroo, right? But as I was researching them, and they live in Australia, in Australia they're most commonly called a boomer, and boomer worked better with my rhyming verse, so that's the word I used. Six speedy zebras run their fastest pace, four foals trot behind. How many in the race? Eight spotted long necks stretching straight and tall, five calves cuddle close. What's the sum of all? Getting the bigger numbers, right? Ten playful penguins slip and slide and flip. Five chicks want to turn. How many take a dip? Twelve hanging fruit bats sleeping sound and deep. Eight pups hide under wings. How many are asleep? Our math adventure is nearly done. We saw many creatures at play. Adding up animals is lots of fun. 
how many did we find today? Wow, that's a big question, isn't it? Because we found a lot of animals in the book. And these are the kind of numbers that you could sit down and write them down and add them up. But I'll give you a hint. We saw 100 animals today. Well, thanks for joining me on a little adventure at the zoo. I enjoyed reading with you.